Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Happy Tuesday. How are you feeling today? I was going through trades today, went through a lot of total earnings domination trades, uh, did a lot of screening today before trading those. And then I moved on to looking at some of the genius scanners and I came up with a pretty interesting one in Carvana today that hit credit spread genius. Let's take a look. So this trade here, this happened at 11.39 and 48.42 seconds. Carvana was at 196.46 and someone sold 377 of the 182.5, 190 put credit spreads at 84 cents that expire this Friday. So this is just like a three and a half day trade when this was put on. Now this was, these were out of the money at, by about $6 and 46 cents. But then what's kind of interesting is that about three minutes later, the stock was up a little bit more and someone, I'm going to guess it's the same person, came in and they sold the 182.5, 192.5 put credit spreads at $1.34. So they, the short strike, they actually sold higher at this point, probably because the stock was higher. So this is, it's a pretty aggressive trade. This person stands to make a lot of money way into the six figures on this if they're right. But let's take a look at the stock here. So stock opened on the day at 190.42. It had a low on the day of 189.50. So it was actually below both of those strikes at some point during the day. Um, now when they made the trade, let me just look at the one minute chart here. That was at 11.39 Eastern, which is 10.39 my time. So we're looking at right about here. You see the stock like it was up, kind of hits some support right here and then busted up through the 50 minute moving average as well as the 21 minute moving average. Not that the 21 moving average is a big important moving average on the one minute charts, but it is on the daily charts and it transfers over. So, but yeah, like right about there really is where we just saw this big burst upwards, which is kind of interesting. I looked through to see if there was any news and didn't find any, but hey, maybe somebody knows something. Either way, that's an interesting one to follow, especially with all this really forceful momentum today. That is before earnings, it has some high implied volatility even on those short-term options so it's a statistically advantageous trade and i thought you would find it interesting i hope that helps this is dan passarelli trade smart